What's up people, it's me Pio. And if you're watching this video, you're probably looking for a laptop or you have the same laptop, the FX 544, and you're facing the same issues that I do before. So in this video, I'll talk about my experience with it, the issues that I face and how do I solve them. All right, let's get into it. So a few months ago on May, I bought this laptop and the first thing that I do after buying a laptop is that I benchmark it and make sure that the scores are the same as the specs. And it went well. I tested Cinebench, I was getting uh, 900, almost 1000 in the CPU and more than 100 FPS for the GPU. A month later, I benchmarked it again, and I was only getting 700. That's a drastic difference. So I, I monitored it, I tried to find out why it happened, and guess what I found out? It was only running at 25 watts, and it's not turbo. It doesn't turbo boost. So I searched online, I tried changing my TDP with throttle stop and XTU and I also try on folding and it all doesn't work it just doesn't work it just stays at 700 under folding it increases it by a bit but still not how it's supposed to be I made a forum on Linus Tech Tips but still no hope doesn't change anything so my last resort I complained to Asus and the reply it doesn't help at all. So I decided to go to the service center. Now my friend have the same laptop, two of them. And one of them have the same problem. The one doesn't. So me and my friend went to the service center and we got our laptop fixed up. When I came there and I told them that the benchmark score wasn't how it's supposed to be. They don't even know what benchmark is. What? But short story, they take my laptop, they replace everything inside. The motherboard, the RAM, the CPU, GPU, everything. A week later, I came back to the service center to get my laptop back. And I benchmark it again to make sure. The score increased, but it's still not how it's supposed to be. It's only getting around 800 an improvement so I just keep trying and trying to keep repeating the test try it updating the drivers updating the windows and try it updating the bios and suddenly after repeating the, the cinnamon test a lot of times increase to 900 so yeah guess I'll just accept it and brought it home so I went home I tested again, I monitored the CPU and I found the problem. I don't know why, but HW monitor, hardware monitor, is causing the problem. It makes the CPU stuck at 25 watt TDP for some weird reason, I don't know. Every time I open hardware monitor or ID64 or any software that monitors the CPU, it just won't run at the full TDP, which is 45 watts. Except throttle stop. And the weird thing is, if you benchmark the CPU with Cinebench, the first run, it won't turbo boost. It won't. But the, the, the rest, it will turbo boost. I don't know why it's just weird. I don't know. So yeah, everything's good. I should be happy. But no. As soon as I start playing games on it, it stutters. It stutters like crazy, FPS drops to like 20 from 100 or something. I just can't play anything there. So I went back online, searched for solutions, made a forum on Linus Tech Tips on the GPU stutter. 
and short story, I fixed it with another fold. So yeah, everything's fixed. A lot of hassle. Had to face all those problems. And my friend, the other one that didn't have any problem. Yeah, no problem at all. It's just quality control. Right now, at the time that I make this video, I think it's fixed. Driver and BIOS and Windows, I guess it's it's fixed now. I can just leave it at uh, stock without undervolting and it still works well. But instead of power limit throttling before, it throttles, thermal throttling. I'm running another fold for my GPU and CPU just to keep the temperatures lower and get a higher performance. And I suggest you do the same thing with all your laptops. Just underfold it. You lose nothing. You gain a lower temperature than maybe higher performance. But do it safely. So my CPU right now is getting around 1100 CB on Cinebench with that underfold. <laughs> Good. Can't argue with that. And temperatures, it's thermal throttles at 88 degrees. That's what Asus made it to. So it just starts throttling at 88 degrees. So temperatures, it never goes above 90 degrees, which is acceptable. I mean, it's 90 degrees in full load. It won't be happening often. The GPU stays at 70 degrees. Ish. Still on a safe range, definitely. Hey there, Future Pio here, and I just want to update you guys on the laptop, specifically the trackpad. The surface of the trackpad peeled off for no reason. It's not my fault. Totally not my fault. So I thought there was a dirt on top of it, and I tried to clean it off, but it was actually the surface of the trackpad, and I peeled it off. Probably gonna bring it back to the service center. Hope I can get it fixed for free. All right, back to the video. If you're looking to buy this laptop, just don't. Don't get the FX505. That's it for this video. All the links to the forums will be listed down below if you want my underfold settings or stuff. But you can't just copy paste my underfold, it all varies even on the same system. So you gotta do it on your own. Alright, if you have anything to ask, go ahead and leave them down below. And if you found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.